Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to design this full screen search box for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now this is how it works. We can see that we have this search box over here. And if I click on that, we can see we have this full screen search box displayed over here. And if I click on this close button, it goes back to this uh, initial search box. So if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, you can watch the previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code. Now in this video, I'll show you how to integrate this search box into your blogger website. So let's get started. Alright, here's the blogger website where we're going to add the search box. And we can see we have this search box over here. Now when we click on the search box, we want to have the full screen search box displayed over here. So let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website and first of all let me show you the theme that I'm using. So if I click on theme, we can see that we are using this theme called Emporio. It comes by default with blogger so here we can see if you scroll down, here's the theme. Right now let's go ahead and click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. Now here we need to make some changes in our theme code. So let's go to the source code. So this is the source code of our uh, search box. You can find the link of the source code in the description. Now we don't need to add this HTML to our blogger website because we already have the search box over here. So here we can see we have the search box. Now we have to style this search box over here. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. Now here we can see we have the HTML code of our search box. Now if you scroll up we can see that uh, we have a division with the class of search and in that we have the search box. So let's copy this class from here and let's go back to our template code and let's go to the CSS. So here we can see all the CSS. Let's go to the end of the CSS. This is where the CSS ends. So I'll just make some space over here. And uh, I'll just create a comment. I'll just have full screen search. And I'll just paste the class over here. So I'll just have dot search. And now here we need to add the CSS that we added for this search container. So let's go back to our source code. And if you go to the style.css file. And here we can see we have the search container dot active. So we need to add this CSS to our search. So let's copy this from here. And here we also need to add a class of active. So I'll just type dot active over here. Because we're going to add a class of active to the search using JavaScript. So I'll just paste the CSS over here. Alright, let's go back to our CSS. And here we can see we also have a class called search box. And for that we have these styles. So if you go back to the HTML, here we can see we have the search container. And in that we have the search box. So we need to add the CSS of the search box to some element inside the search in our blogger website. So let's go back to our blogger website. And I'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And here we can see in the search division we have all these uh, elements over here. And then we have this division with the class of section. So we need to target this and we need to bring it to the center of the screen. And for the search we are adding the background color. So here we can see we are adding a dark background color over here and we are setting the width and the height to 100%. Right, so let's select the section from here. So here I'll just type dot search dot active and here I'll just type section. And let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's copy all the CSS inside the search box. This is the CSS to bring the element to the center. So I'll just copy this from here and let's paste it over here. Now let's go back to our blogger website and here we can see if you scroll down and if you scroll up, we can see we have a different header over here and we also have a different search box over here. So this search box can be an issue for our design. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's select this division with the class of search. And now here we can see on the right we have the selector for this element. So we have to set a display of none for this. So if I just type display of none, we can see that the search box is not being displayed over here. So I'll just copy this selector from here. And let's go back to our theme code. And I'll just paste it over here. And here I'll just type display of none. Now let's go back to our blogger website and we'll also bring this header to the center. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's select this blog name division from here. And uh, we will set a width of 100% for this. So I'll just type width 100%. And now we can see it has a width of 100%. And we'll also text align the heading to the center. So I'll just select this. And here we can just type text align center. So let's make these two changes. So I'll just copy this uh, blog name from here. And let's go back and here I'll just type dot blog name. And I'll just set the width to 100%. And 
and let's go back to the inspector and let's select the H1 and here we have the selector for H1 so I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here and let's set the text aligned to center all right now let's add the close button and the JavaScript so let's scroll down and go to the end of the theme code so here before the body ends I'll just make some space over here and uh, let's go to our source code and let's go to the HTML and uh, let's scroll down and I'll just copy this search close button from here and paste it over here and let's create a script tag for the JavaScript now here in the script tag I will just copy all the JavaScript so let's go back and let's go to the main.js file and I'll just copy everything from here and let's go back and paste it over here now the next thing we need to do is we need to update this selector so we are selecting search container and in that we have the input now this is the class that we had given to our HTML over here so here we can see we have this search container division now we have to change this to the class of a blogger website so if we go back to a blogger website and if I just right click over here and click on inspect here we can see we have this division with the class of search and in that we have this form and in that we have the input so let's go back to our theme code and I'll just delete this from here and here I'll just type search form input now let's get the selector of the main container division so if we go back to our HTML here we can see we have this container division with the class of search container let's go back to our blogger website and uh, let's see what is the container so I'll just inspect and here we can see this is the main container division so if I select this we have this selector over here so I'll just copy this and uh, let's go back to our JavaScript and I'll just paste it over here and then lastly we have the search close button and we have the same class over here as well now the next thing we will do is we will add the link of font awesome so here we can see we are using the font awesome icon over here so let's go back to our source code and uh, if we go to the head section here we can see the link of font awesome so I'll just copy this and let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the top and here in the head section I'll just paste the link alright now let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now let's click on this search box and here we can see that the full screen search box is displayed over here but uh, we have some problems in the styling first of all we have this margin over here so let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's click on search and I'll just type margin 0 and that solves the problem of the margin now the next thing we need to do is we need to set a background color for this search box so let's select this section and uh, let's add a background color over here I'll just type EEE -E -E. and now we can see we have this background color so we need to make these two changes to our code so let's go back and uh, let's go to the CSS and here for the search I'll just type margin 0 and here for the section I'll just type background and EEE -E -E. And one more thing we need to do is we need to style the close button as well so if I right click over here and click on inspect here we can see we have the search close button but we haven't added any styles to that so let's go back to our source code and let's go to style.css and I'll just copy this from here and let's paste it over here All right now let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page All right now let's click on the search box and here we can see we have this full screen search box over here and now we can go ahead and search for anything over here so let's search for a post here we have this post called second post so I'll just search that so let's click on the search box and let's type second and let's press enter and here we can see the search is working alright we have the result displayed over here now there's one more issue with this full screen search box so if I click on this search box and if I scroll down and if I scroll up we can see that the full screen search box disappears and if we scroll down again it comes back so for that we have to disable scrolling when we are on this full screen mode so let's go back to our JavaScript and let's scroll down and here in the JavaScript let's create a function so I just type const and I'll name the function don't scroll and let's create an arrow function over here now in this function I'll just set the scroll position to top so I'll just type window dot scroll to and here just type 0 0 for x and y coordinates now let's call this function over here when we click on the search box so here I just type don't scroll 
Now we also need to add an event listener to the scroll event. Whenever we try to scroll, it should go back to the top position. So here I'll just add an event listener to the window. So I'll just have window dot add event listener. And we will listen for the scroll event. And we'll just call the don't scroll function. And now the last thing we need to do is we need to remove this event listener when we click on the close button. So I'll just copy this from here. And let's paste it down here for the close button. And here instead of add, I'll just type remove event listener. Now this should prevent the site from scrolling when we are on the full screen mode. So let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and I'll just refresh this page. Now let's click on the search box. And here we can see we have this full screen search box. And now if I try to scroll, we can see that we cannot scroll. And uh, if I close this, we can scroll. So that's basically how you add a full screen search box to your blogger website. And I will leave the link of the source code and also the design video in the description so you can go ahead and check them out. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.